Okay, so it's cold and it's dark and we've got an intermittent rough idle on this Lexus GS300. We've also got a check engine light and stability control light on the dashboard. So if I pull up the codes in my software, I've got P1349 and P1656, which point to the variable valve timing oil control valve. So this here is where the oil control valve is located on the inline six engine. The oil control valve is responsible for monitoring the oil flow into the cam gear to control the variable valve timing via the ECU here. Now a common problem with these is that the oil filter inside of the oil line gets clogged or the valve itself gets stuck. I've already cleaned both and I still have the same problem so I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this brand new one. Okay first thing I'm going to pop off the engine cover. Next we need to remove the timing cover. It's held on by four hex bolts. Two here and two over here. And now we're going to remove the timing cover. So this here is the union bolt that has a filter in it and this here is the electrical connector that goes to this oil control valve. There's just one 10 millimeter bolt that holds the oil control valve on. Remove this 10 mil bolt and then I'm going to remove the oil control valve. Might be some oil dripping out. This here is the old oil control valve. The computer applies 12 volts here to allow the solenoid to pop in and out and control the flow of the oil from the inlet to the outlet and then to the can gear. So just as a demonstration I'm applying 12 volts to this oil control valve and you can see the solenoid move in and out. This here is a new valve from Dorman. It's about half the price of OEM. And this here is the old valve as a comparison. Looks pretty much the same. So to get access to this filter you need to remove this 22 millimeter bolt as well as that 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom there that holds the oil line. I'm just going to come with my socket and loosen that bolt up. And some oil will drip out. And then I'm going to loosen up the 10 mil bolt that holds the oil line on. Mm. Alright then we're going to remove this union bolt. And you have to be careful because there is a crush washer here that you don't want to lose. And there's a washer here as well. Alright then I'm going to come in with a beak mouth pliers here and carefully pull out the filter. And that's the oil control valve filter. Sometimes these get really dirty and clogged and also cause the engine code to come up. So I've cleaned it and I'm going to put it back in. So the filter just slits onto the bolt and then the bolt goes into the union bolt. I'm going to put the crush washer in here and then slide that in and tighten this up. All right, we're going to go ahead and just snug down this filter. All right, I'm now putting in the 10 millimeter bolt that secures the oil line. Yeah, we're just snugging up the union bolt here. Before I insert the new oil control valve, I'm just going to use a little bit of oil and wet the seal here, make it easier to insert, and then go ahead and insert the new valve. And then we're going to replace the 10 millimeter bolt. And then finally replace this electrical connector. And then tighten down this 10 millimeter bolt. Next I'm going to replace the timing belt cover and then replace the hex bolts. Alright, I'm going to start up the car and see how it sounds. You want to double check that there's no leaks around the union bolt and control valve. Okay, finally I'm going to clear all the check engine lights. Click clear. And that's it. Finally, we're going to take the car for a test drive and complete a full driving cycle to make sure the check engine light doesn't come back on.